Hello everybody, Andrea here. So what I've decided to do is I wanna do a day in the life of a mobile dental hygienist. Would that interest you guys? So I'm thinking about doing this, uploading a video once a week um, on YouTube. So this will be a YouTube specific day in the life only for my amazing YouTube followers for a mobile dental hygienist. So this will be fun for any dental hygienist who wants to be a mobile dental hygienist. One day you're aspiring to have your own practice. You are a mobile dental hygienist and you just kind of want that support and somebody to talk to and to see kind of what it's really like for somebody else. So this will be interesting for any dental hygienist who kind of wants to know more. So click like if you like this idea, definitely comment if you like this idea and kind of I can go by your comments and decide what I'll be talking about. So I'm just doing this spur of the moment. I know as a mobile dental hygienist myself, I would really love to see another mobile dental hygienist do a day in the life weekly thing like that too. I think that would be super cool. So I figure, hey, you know what? I'm gonna get started and do it. So let's talk about it this week. So today is Wednesday. This week has definitely been absolutely one of those weeks that I wanted to talk about, like day in the life of a mobile dental hygienist. How does that work? So this week, you guys, I've been getting a lot of cancellations, which I pride myself in saying that hardly ever happens. Um, for those of you who work in a dental office, like cancellations is number one. It happens. You need to struggle to fill that schedule. Well, for me, I never had that problem. Patients just wouldn't cancel because they were looking forward to their appointment. Um, and I just never had that problem. But this week, it's a full moon, something in the air. I don't know, but I'm getting a lot of cancellations. So how do I handle that? So I've been getting so many that it's been hard to handle it. Whereas literally... I typically confirm a week before, maybe even a couple weeks before sometimes, depending on when they booked their appointment. Then I confirm a couple days before and then always the evening before. If I don't hear back from a patient the evening before, I reschedule them because as a mobile dental hygienist, you don't just wanna drive to their house and they're not there or they kind of go, oh, I didn't know you were coming. I didn't answer you back for a reason. I didn't confirm for a reason, who knows? So, you know, but I'm a business owner, right? I gotta keep the schedule full to pay the bills. But usually if a patient does cancel, um, I have a long list of short notice cancellations where I can literally just pick from that list message the patient and say, hey, I had somebody cancel. I'm seeing you in a month. Do you want to move it up to tomorrow? Because I had somebody just reschedule. And they're always usually more happy to do that if they can, like unless they're working or something or they're they're somewhere else and they just can't have me over. So that works really well because as a mobile hygienist, it's not just about looking to see how much time is needed to fill the schedule. Like if it's a one adult patient, well, let me find one adult patient to fill into that spot. It's based on location. So if I'm going to be in Woodstock tomorrow, I wouldn't book a patient in Stratford. Um, so I have to first go by where the patients live. And then I have to go by, well, how many patients do I normally see in that household? If I see a family of five, I'm not going to ask them if only one person wants to get their teeth cleaned tomorrow because I have a spot. That's just not the best thing to do because then I have to go back and see the rest of the family members when it's just better to see everybody in the same household um, at once, right? So it's definitely a puzzle. Being a, mobile, um, being a mobile dental hygienist is a puzzle. My patients are the puzzle pieces and I have to fit them in. If I have a new patient, I don't wanna keep them waiting a month. Like I'm literally booked up, I'd say a month in advance, sometimes two months, even three months for evenings and weekends. Cause they're definitely prime time. Like that's when everybody wants them, but I'm still very busy during the week because luckily now a lot of people work from home. So they don't mind me coming in during the week, but for new patients, I don't like keeping them waiting. So I do always block off time as well. I talk about time blocking. I talk about how I handle SNCs inside my course, Mobile RDH Academy. So if you are a mobile dental hygienist or aspiring to be one, you want to be in that course because I explain everything to you guys, even more than what I'm doing now. This is day in the life. You're learning about it. But if you want specifics, definitely sign up for that course. And I offer you full support as well. But so that's what's been happening this week, you guys. And 
talking about cancellations, I would even, you know, let's say some like this is okay, this is what happened this week. Let me go back a little bit. So what's the day today? Wednesday. So on Sunday, I usually confirm actually for that week. Almost every single patient or family said, oh shoot, I forgot about my appointment. We have to reschedule. So let's say I'm confirming on Sunday. Well, those patients on Monday, I need to scramble to fit in patients. Well, I would actually find somebody who wanted to come in short notice cancellation um, in that spot. And then I would message them Monday morning to say, okay, um, I'm making great time. I should be there at 10 a.m. Because that's another thing that I do as a mobile dental hygienist is I message them before I'm coming. So they know because sometimes timings aren't perfect. It's kind of like furniture delivery, right? They give you a wide range. I don't give a four hour range, but it is within a half an hour. So I might say, oh, I finished my last appointment early. I can actually be there at 930 instead of 10. Is that okay with you? Or if that's too early, no problem. I have a snack in my car, catch up on emails, and then I kind of go that way. But I do confirm with the patient when I'm on the way. So that morning, um, I confirm with the patients that morning. And this particular patient, it was a family of three. Um, she actually said, actually, we are sick. We all have the sniffles. Oh. So here... They just confirmed the night before, but she's like, I'm so sorry, we have the sniffles. Nowadays, we rebook when somebody has the sniffles, they're sick, you gotta be careful, right? So here I did fill that spot and then it was canceled anyway. So Monday morning, 10 a.m. appointment, cancellation at 7 a.m. I can't really find somebody else for 10 a.m. So guess what? I had the morning off doesn't usually happen. So what did, what did I do, you guys? I, um, I answered emails. I think I even hopped on like a Facebook Live in my Facebook group. Um, so I make the most of my time. But that's how the puzzle pieces go, right? You're constantly doing something. So that's what this week has been about. Legit cancellations. Um, yeah, that's what the week's title is, is cancellations and how does a mobile dental hygienist handle that? So you guys, let me know if any questions, comment below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video and I'll do another week in the life of a mobile dental hygienist. How's that next week? I'll talk to you guys soon.